services on the motorway near Cannock right now. So, uh, Sarah, what exactly are... Well, more than 1,500 people have signed a petition campaigning to save the woodlands in Cannock Chase from a possible sell-off. The site's currently run by the Forestry Commission, but its future is uncertain. The government wants to transfer power from the Forestry Commission, which owns 18% of woodlands across England, to the private sector, saying this will boost public control. A consultation on the proposals is now underway. Kath Mackey reports. Dangling right above his head, that broken thing. Now, a little piece of our railway heritage passed into history today as direct rail services from Shropshire to London came to an end. During its short lifetime, the Wrexham and Shropshire line won the... Wending its way through some... Oh, it was emotional, yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Was, it was, wasn't it? Very emotional. Oh, it is good to have you with us this evening. Still to come on Midlands Today. Well, lots of news on football transfers now. Here's Dan. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Or two. Indeed, thanks, Cheers, Dan. Dan. Now, like many cities, Coventry's gone through some tough times. The 70s were particularly bad, with the winter of discontent and the demise of the car industry. On the brighter side, the birth of two-tone music was, of course, also a big part of that era, as a new play at the city's Belgrade Theatre reveals. Our arts reporter, Lindsay Doyle, went along to find out more. Great. Right. Yeah, doesn't really it? Really yeah. good. Uh, like other bit of breaking today. news as we saw the sunshine yeah, today, it was isn't it? Yeah, I recognised it immediately. It was marvellous. <laughs> you know? Before we leave you, a look at tonight's main headlines. Violent, that is it from all of us for this evening. Have a very good weekend, won't you? Bye bye. Bye bye.